Okay, I just wanted to show where I'm at with the box. I've got uh, some wiring done. It's not complete yet. Uh, it's basically out here again with the control on the top. Hopefully I'll get a uh, uh, meter here or here. Well, here probably. Maybe some LED lights uh, show the battery uh, as a work as a battery indicator. Uh, I just wanted to show a few things uh, I ran into problems I see when you put it together. You know, I try to be careful about the layout. That it's only after you get the wiring going that you see uh, where your real problems are. Uh, I've got uh, my 120 volt outlets here and a weather protected uh, cover. I've got uh, 15 inch fuse here. It goes to the uh, DC uh, power. It's got the DC outlet here. And uh, the switch also goes to the DC outlet. That's the power of the DC outlet on and off. It's uh, water, pretty much uh, water protected as well. Um, then I have a USB. Uh, Port here. For uh, charging via USB. And on the side here, that's between the battery and the inverter. Um, and this uh, is not a fuse, it's a circuit breaker, 35 bat circuit breaker. I also have a 15 amp circuit breaker here to go between the battery and the uh, 12 volt outlet. And let me open it up and show you where I am with the wiring. Talk about the internal problems. Uh, first of all, uh, first thing I wanted to pay attention to was this inverter. It gets hot. Uh, you, know, you don't want your inverter near anything flammable. And uh, you can see I'm still using my uh, poster board or inverter gets hot so you don't want anything you know, anything flammable you really don't want it that close to the battery so I'll probably put some spacers in here and for the, I'm still using your foam board uh, probably there's a couple things I can do either I can either put uh, spacers between the foam board and the uh, inverter okay. Also, this, uh, this 15 amp circuit breaker down here, bad place for it. Didn't see that until I uh, actually started assembling it. Barely got enough space for this uh, switch here to the DC power, but that's doable. The 15 amp is not so close mainly because these quick connectors uh, stick out quite a ways uh, so not the best place for that maybe I should have put that underneath the, the two outlets here or on the side gotta wire it up here pretty much get the wire or the fans probably use a switch to those fans. Uh, could also use a temp temperature uh, sensitive uh, circuit uh, where it just comes on automatically when it gets hot. And let's see, the other problem is uh, I'm using this barrier strip as more like a terminal block instead. Basically this is connecting uh, to the smaller 12 volt uh, items like the fan, like the, these um, DC outlet and the USB uh, ports and it will also, uh, also have it connecting to uh, the meters, uh, any uh, voltage meters or any lights, night lights that I have come on and I uh, go through this uh, barrier strip. This is 5 gang barrier strip. Uh, may hopefully I'll get be able to get everything wired up with just the five.